Jane. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. All the things I forget the freaking light again. Hello, anyone watching now or later? Hidden here along with. Back here! And welcome back for the seventh time now to Darksiders War Master Edition. And yeah, we are definitely in at least the last act of the game, I think. Like, we've seen the, the intro. Oh, well, of course, we've seen the intro. We've seen the first act, basically, war getting screwed over. And we've seen the middle act where he find, seeks revenge and where he finds out uh, who is responsible for everything. And yeah, now we are on the war path, no pun intended, <laughs> for Abaddon the Destroyer. And yeah, Eden. Okay, wait, did it not save us? Uh, okay, I... Yeah, the saving system seems a bit off or jumpy at times. I'm, I'm guessing they didn't expect people to wait outside uh, of that portal that leaves out of here. So, hmm. we'll have to see if it brings up that cutscene again. If it does, we should be able to skip it. Oh yeah, it's already open. Yeah. We could keep this in the loop to me. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to up your volume and find the kit part over here. Oh, I'm low. Yeah, it was on my end. Uh, a ser because of server stream, I think I have the volume lowered. Okay. Oh, hello there, Azrael. Yeah. The Angel of Death. And we freed from the Black Tower where we beat Straga's ass again. Or rather, we gave him an uh, extra special <laughs> dentist visit. Oh, don't forget, you can't give him some new back problems. Yeah, specifically the back of the head where we <laughs> jabbed the, the blade in fully. Seek Ulthane. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them when none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Yes. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the Broken Blade. Then, return it to the Forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate, dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon, and all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it, whatever the light decides. Go, waste no more time on me, and tell Othane <laughs> he is the last hope of an old fool. scattered over this ruined world. Find the pieces, forge them at the hand of the Black Hammer, then return. Okay. So now we have a bit of a scavenger hunt. Yep. Let's see. Chronic and the... Okay, at least it's telling us where the pieces are. So it's going to make things a lot easier. Yep. There I hope is... that could mean that we can find some other more upgrades. Yeah, and actually, I think that's one right ahead of us. Okay. Gimme. That's, that's going to be one chunky blade. <laughs> that is a seventh of it. 
Okay. Oh, this this is actually where we uh we fought the mother of the worms. Oh dear. Uh, and I think we just picked up the handle. Now, we already have the handle, or we already had the handle, which oh. was given by the, the Tree of Wisdom, and hello there. Just a little snack. Uh, yeah. Now all of those, uh, <clears throat> Volcom locations are going to be useful for us jumping all over the place. Yep, so again, as soon as we can uh, look for areas we had to see earlier for, well, in case we have more live shots and all that for, I feel like yeah. every live shot will be needed. So That's well on the shot. final battle is before you. You are wise to seek help from old Valgrim. 2,000 extra souls. Impact rounds. Should we buy some of these? Because we've gone the entire game without, and I, a part of me wants to see... Well, we've used a few by accident, mostly. Let me know if I can help you. Do I am kind of curious how these work. See, empty vessels can be filled with many beneficial you. properties and consumed, but will that... That'll probably empty it out. Hmm. For now, though... Let's, let's, let's upgrade the blade gazer and geyser. It's, the, it's a simple attack, but it's the one we've been using since the start. Yeah. <laughs> you know that you tried the other ones? This is kind yeah. of a shame. They don't look too interesting. They mostly seem defensive. But uh, yeah, maybe if we have ex some extra souls, because I think we might not be able to upgrade uh, the Blade Geyser again. If we have spare souls and we have enough, we'll, we can see what the others do. Or at yeah, least and one of them. <laughs> I kind of wonder, how close is our blade to the max level? Let's see... About a, a quarter to a third. We can't really tell because the blade is blocking it. Wait, what? Uh, I think we were closer. Okay, and... That was definitely the error. Go. This should hold the shards. And that's another bar. Yes! Oh, is... That is what that thing has been since the start up here. Or, was that... Could we see that one specifically before? I don't recognize that one. We've, we've known about that thing there. So has... I'll, I'll need to check... Uh, the old videos, if that was there before, because <laughs> that is the shard that we've been looking for, or that's one of the shards that we are looking for. Now, how do we get up there then? Probably through here, at the very least. And we should be able to use the grappling hook to, la to get up there. Somehow, if we can get a line of sight on it. Hmm. Here's something akin to a crocodile nearby. It's probably those freaking fish. <laughs> They're swarming like I've got a freaking loaf of bread <laughs> hidden in my pocket or something. Um, are you for electric? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there was war glitching in and out of the water for a second. Or he was just getting low with the music. I did see it right. 
Okay, how do we get this sign on that thing? Way. You almost like you're there. The thing was going on earlier. You might need to see it from another angle. Yeah, there, there could be stuff hidden in the shadows again. And that is the whole point that we got this new thing for. So, oh, that's the best All right. A lot of the other stuff that wa would be physical in the Shadow Realm could at least be seen in a Shimmer before. But maybe they've just not spawned in some things to, you know, to keep some things just extra hidden until you got this thing. Possibly. But again, you see up the thing on that green screen in the area. Well, uh, it could be used for moving at one angle. Okay, yeah, it's a grappling point that we can only really s hmm. Wait, if we can only see it when oh. we have this one equipped. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. If we can only see it when we have the mouse equipped, we can bring up the harpoon, though. Unless we have the quick swap. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I... Um... There we go. The effect lingers for a bit. Okay. Let's not fall down. And let's not try to shoot the thing. <laughs> Two down, five to go. Yep. And can I actually grab that from here? Nope. Okay. And we have to go the long way around. Actually, I don't think we've really gone underwater here. Ugh. What's wrong with the fish? Yeah, which also needs a dentist visit. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Oh! Oh! So oh! We got We got your whole heart! What the fuck are you doing? Oh, at me! I wasn't expecting to get to get you to get a surprise by Rune of all things. It was a skull was a fire. <laughs> okay, we're going to see a lot of this place in this stream. And yeah, with two hours should be more than plenty to grab all pieces. And more, hopefully. Yeah. And don't be afraid to clean some things then. Well, a max level sword would probably be a good idea to have. Yeah, but the, this level is probably also going to take the most kills to get it to its last level. Yeah, but I you don't run away all the time. Hmm. Uh, oh. Actually. The health angels. Just for that. We should be able to get up here now, I think. Ooh. Okay, there we go. These were hit hidden before. Okay. 
through there, even though four should fit through that. There we go. Come on, I. Okay. And there we go. This room was pretty much hidden <laughs> literally at the very start. Okay. What are we doing around here? And yeah, there's a chest here. Let's see. Where specifically is it though? Don't tell me it's been down there this whole time or something. We did our reach. Hmm. Okay, where where is that chest then? Yeah, you oh, well. me so long. And a broken stair. Okay, I, I like that the door. On default, the option is on no there, in case you want you misclicked something. And yeah, when you're moving around, when you're when you're going to fast travel, you're probably button mashing a bit to just make it go as fast as possible. But yeah, I'm I'm going to guess that Dead Realm is like a, an in between, like the space between dimensions. Very lovely. Let's see. Does this have any clue of where it is? There it is. And it's in a staircase. Is that the Okay, that is the very end of this area, right before uh, the flying section with the, the ancient beasts. Alright. And hopefully we can find some more loot. Uh, oh. And... wait. Yeah, this is the right way. I think. Slash hope. <laughs> yeah, and it's one of the cannoneers. The Redeemers. Uh, that way is where we need to go. Mm, yeah, if, if our path gets blocked or just a conga line of easy targets like this, then <laughs> then I'll fight. <laughs> it, <laughs> yep. Though I'm not sure, I'm not actually sure if that did damage or not. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, where are you? Head crush and... Well, slam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, it has variations for most of the enemies. It's, it's just that with, with one of them, it, with some of them, it, there isn't at all. Oops. And a lot are basically remodels, so they share the same execution animations as well. Mm. So yeah, that is a bit of a downside, but this is the first in a series, and the first typically gets things a bit rough at the very least. At the very least, we should be able to assemble the blades uh, tonight and get to whatever final area there is. If it doesn't just send us immediately to the end boss or something, which I find doubtful. Then again... Uh, okay, <laughs> that first shot almost hit us. Okay, we were blocked from this area by the cutscene and, well, hitching a ride on the griffin. 
So yeah, just hidden out of sight. Literally and figuratively. And now we have to walk all the way back to Volgren. Hello. Okay, extra. Okay, that was that was about 250, I think. Okay. For some reason, I can remember being stuck here for some reason when I originally played through this game, at least. Could be that I just missed that I could jump off at the far end there, and that's all the pigeons on our ass. <laughs> that's an entire flock wait, uh, waiting in a conga line to crap on us. Maybe it would be ready to slaughter them. Well, since they can't fit in here. Okay, choking grounds. We didn't spend. We didn't spend too long here in the choking grounds. Mostly we did. Uh, mostly we did the challenges to get the golem out of our way. Hmm. Yeah, that might. Yeah, then there might be a lot of loot uh, remaining in that pass. <coughs> Maybe we'll we'll have to see. Um, this way. I'm. I'm still curious what armor is on. Do we stay up to your finger and the armor or what? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it would up, I'm guessing at the very least it would lessen the amount of damage we take from enemy attacks. Like that seems yeah. to be a typical thing uh, with yeah, Zelda likes is that if there's a big armor upgrade it'll half damage. That's what it typically does in the Zelda games I think. Yeah, and we have found many of them. And we found like four or five out of ten. Yeah, and if there's only one in the game, then not really it's uh, damn good. Oh. Yeah, it'll definitely not hurt to go grab it if we can. And that's health. This is where the golem went after we sprayed him. No oh, big boy there. Drawing quite a bit of attention. I, I'm mostly putting them up because I need some space to look around for whatever we need to climb to get up there. Because the shard is right next to us. It's on the minimap, which is hidden to you all, of course. But it's just to our... There it is. Well, we might pull that stick into the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that? That is the only animation we get for executing these skeleton things and all of their variants. Yeah, as fun as it is to break a bag of bones like that in, into pieces, just after this third dozen time, it does get boring. <laughs> Come on. I'm not going to try and counter this thing. Every 
the aura. If they have trebuchets in this game, I suspect they're gonna look very heavy metal. Yeah. What is that sound? Oh, that's another one of those. <laughs> it has some very heavy footsteps. Have you seen the boots? Okay. I don't think we've been down here before. Something on it. Yeah, we need bomb. Oh, I see already. We, we could have done this quite a bit earlier, actually, it seems. We could have come back here after we got this thing. I just hope it is a nice door for on. You hear things spawning up there, probably. And here's a shard. Okay. Okay, getting one. Ow. Getting one of those also heals us, apparently. There has to be more here, I think. Something that can only be seen with the mask on. Something we can only reach with this. Oh, and there's something else here as well. This is a very good area to go for, it seems. Or a very good uh, possession. Okay, not too useful. And hello there. And I see the shimmer. Yep. Okay, so you basically have... Basically, you can return to this area after every dungeon and get a little bit extra. Okay. Yep. Thank you for your time, ladies, but we'll be taking this and just leaving. <laughs> Let's see. We don't have the... We don't have the... Horde Seeker of this area. So there could be more hidden around. Uh, yeah, primary objective at the moment is just getting the shards. That's probably a death drop. I'm forgetting where the freaking I button is because I've been playing on the Switch lately. Or, not the, <laughs> the I button is always in the same place. It's the A and B buttons that get swapped around on the Switch for some reason. Okay. You gotta wonder just how much Volgrim knows of this place since he has access to them and he has even decorated the place with these. Those symbols of his. I also have to say I quite like that it just it doesn't always give us the same path. There's probably like a random you know, selection every time or so. Maybe. Road. Just reading it makes me thirsty. That's that's actually not too far away. And Volcom laughing sinisterly behind our back, like the vulture he is.
This is no ambush, horseman. I come alone. I, Uriel of the Hellguard, champion of the White City, call you, horseman, to next sacramentum. Fool. I lay claim to your life before the Creator. Will you dishonor this law as well? Why? Because Abaddon said you understood honor, and because he was the best of us. The death oath cannot be broken until one falls by the hand of the other. I accept. Oops. Okay, yeah, did not expect this. And well, might as well try to cut this short as possible. So basically, an oath that, you know, yeah, an unbreakable oath of a duel to the death. Says the angel challenging the horsemen of apocalypse. She's up to something. Okay. Oh, uh, that looked powerful, but also leaves her wide open. Now <laughs> she's pulling out sword beams. It would have been a bit more useful if I had the freaking pistol equipped. Well, those are pretty easy. Oh, oh hello. See why she's the second why she's the new leader of the Hell Guards. Ow. She can take quite a beating. You <laughs> she swords for days. Early. Still, I think we have plenty of health to be able to beat her. And you overestimate yourself, Uriel. Or rather, your anger and grief. Take a quick moment to step out. There we go. And let's put that there. Wait, I didn't swap it. Oh, I forgot to assign. Or I forgot to confirm it. Okay, second time. Okay, she can really take a beating. Right. Oh, those are just bouncing off, so there's no need for that. Come on. Woo! Don't you dare walk away from me! 
The next sacramentum is mine. I decide when the angel dies, not you. You swore an oath to me. Abaddon is the destroyer. Liar! To protect you, he kept you from the truth. You pledged to follow your lord into hell, never knowing what awaited you, or what he would become. Abaddon. He was betrayed and became the enemy of all creation. I've been to the tree. Its gift was truth, and I share it with you now. Remember the death oath. Soon it must be fulfilled. <laughs> okay, she really took a freaking beating. Yeah, okay, I think I recall that scene produced it to be a bit more smoother. Yeah, it looked a bit odd with uh, both the close-ups and the more uh, area view. Yeah, I recall it had something like that, but not in this manner. I guess it's just making better, but yeah, it didn't get kind of properly. I'm not sure if it was the same like that in the original or if they messed up an aspect ratio or something. Still looked interesting at the very least. It was Definitely. probably the most cinematic bit of dialogue in the game so far. Uh, I'm not exactly going to talk about flashback. But this one is definitely most uh, unique one. Yeah, and only one remains. You got anything to say, Volgren? Greetings. Oh, you did have something to say, not anything new. <laughs> All right then. I've... It's uh, it's been a, about forty minutes underneath that, at least. We might actually get to the end of the game with this, if it doesn't throw another dungeon in our face. Which I will not be surprised. But I, I don't think we act, have space for another item. We have Ruin, we have Chronomancer thing, Block Counter, we have all of these things. We still have one thing missing here though. Yeah, it's oh, only four! I did sit four, uh, four or five. Hmm. Okay. Which way? Not here. What would you ask it, of this Do you think have a lot of uh, unexplored areas here? Side of the controller there. This is back in the... we've already found one here, or at the very end of this. But I see it, I see it on the mini-map. Okay, so there's two hidden here. We, we did already explore a bit around here. I went, went more uh, deeper into the cave system, but alright, alright. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I know where this last one is, it's in the spider's lair. Oh. Because, yeah, we went the same way to get there as well. There must be a lot in Spanish last that they hit them for. If it were only straightforward, we were there. True. And, but yeah, we haven't, can... found, we haven't found the Horde Seekers, aka the Compass, in many areas. Yep. Don't see, we now found we a map in many areas either. Yeah. And now with the moss, we would be able to see more. Okay, I did not mean for me to have his gun out for that. 
But it does look very <laughs> cooler. Okay, seems he won't switch to anything else like this. Okay, just... <laughs> I hope your arm doesn't get tired like this war. Oh, hello. Come here, Heli Rider. Yep. Ran right into that one. Out of range. But it makes sense since the, <laughs> the size of these slugs would not allow them to travel too far, I think. Now, without some extreme amount of gunpowder. Okay, you are definitely going to die for all of this. Okay, for more than I thought he was stuck there. Is that all you're going to do? Just throw things and charge? Uh, there, there we are. There we go. I'm sure that one was hanging around here. Oh, cool. Perhaps. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> no cold feet now, war. Whee! I don't expect you to splat against the wall there. <laughs> but that would have been embarrassing. Okay, I think I see it. I need to re equip this thing for that. I forget to re. I forget to press. There we go. And there goes our exit. Hmm. Is it going to come down on its own, or have we... Do we have to leave? There it is. Okay. So, is this... Oh. Okay. <laughs> of all the things that are... Stay on... Okay, come on down. There we go. Could there be anything hidden around here? There's a chest of souls. And there's an artifact. Okay, let's go grab those quick. Just since we're nearby anyways. It's a normal one. Let's see, did we get anything? We got... We got a crystal ball in here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a camera disjoint. There we go. Okay, the, the camera just got stuck behind the, the rock there. Apparently the skull of the, the boss skull remains on the mini-map. And on the map. Okay. Oh! Uh, what? Okay. Wait. You know, the dust chats look a bit different. It doesn't have to glow. Then again, we... I'm, maybe this was a health chest that we already emptied or something. Because we had to pass through here to get to the boss in the first place. 
Silenza, yeah. Silenza. I know the first half of her name is Silly, at least. I was also expecting you to accidentally call her Samantha. Samantha Spider. Oh dear. Okay. Why did that make me cringe? Wait. Oh, it's it's not here. Okay. Oh. Well. There's things going on in here at least now. Which can lead us to more stuff we want. Mm. I, th I think we've covered most of the area here. There isn't a Vulcan place to fast travel from. Okay. Then where is the, the last shard hidden? but that shouldn't delay us too much and well we got some souls out of it yep you still did this was was the uh, most hectic of them all just teleporting even, all over the freaking place even the minion boss uh, before her was a struggle yeah That one though, I'm not too sure if we should. Like it gave, it gave it a hint uh, right at the intro cinematic about with it showing down on one of the bundled up corpses. Yep. So yeah, uh, I'll just chalk that one up to uh, me being an idiot. <laughs> well, it also was one of those that you would probably wouldn't expect for a hint to begin with. Where is this last piece hidden then? We, there's, there was one right at the end. I, I can control the camera a bit during that. Wait. It's over. Is it in an... Oh wait, I think I know where it is. We've already oh. seen where it... Well, someone's not going to make it at the Olympics. Yep, it's over here. That's very loose sand. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we, do, we never blew, blew that up. Yeah, we tried to. But we failed because we didn't have enough time to. So we have we have the grappling hook now. Hmm. Wait, didn't we have to? No, we didn't have the grappling hook then. But still, then we need to find a bomb flower somewhere. Oh, and there it is. Just hidden in the Shadow Realm. Go oh, to Nerf. So, lock there, and go. Okay, good bit of design, keeping the, keeping the area accessible, but the important part blocked off by something that you can only access it with later. <laughs> Ooh, what can we find? Well, that's very obviously the last chart here. Hmm. And I'm guessing nothing really extra than that. When I was dumb, I should have used the mask to see if there was anything to help cross. Because I'm pretty sure I heard the Shadow Realm noise there.
Yep. So quite a bit of a climb to get here. And there we go. The last piece of that accursed lead. Now, get back to Ulthane and finish this business. Yeah, that let's see if he wants another brawl or something. Oh dear, be uh, right back. He's gonna pick something. Yeah, okay, just probably going to be walking over anyways. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I think... I can't remember if I originally played this game before the second one came out. Or maybe it was a similar case for me as with uh, Mass Effect, where I only started the first game after hearing about how good the second one was. Let's see, where is he's in here? Yeah, I... Yeah, I, I think it was a similar case where I, by the time I played the first one that uh, Dark Shadows 2 was released. And let's see, where did he make his little lair again? Anvil's Ford, probably there. It's the Twilight Cathedral, there's an area on the side where there's, we don't have a Volgum location. Hmm. Actually, was it? This area is next to the Drowned Pass. I think. I'll have to double check when we see the next. When, if we, this is the right location. If it isn't, I'll just have to check the map again and welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. Thank you, thank you. Missed me? Mm, not really. Oh, alright then. <laughs> okay, yeah, this should be the correct area. And let's put the freaking the mask off because that effect is starting to be annoying. Yep, there we go. Let's see, where are you hiding, old thing? Just in case... Not, I don't think we need the gloves equipped to open those doors now, but... Yeah, better sure than uh, having to <laughs> embarrass myself. And he is still here, I can hear him hammer away. Okay, I was keeping my hand ready on the shortcut to uh, cut, <laughs> cut myself out of the scene. My greatest work. Until now.
Achievement Ultimate Blade. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it has replaced the Chaos Eater and has automatically gone to max level. <laughs> Let's see, info. Reforged by Ulthane, the Armageddon Blade is the only weapon powerful enough to slay the Destroyer. <laughs> like I said. Okay. But now we need to get to wherever the hell the Destroyer and Uriel are <laughs> beefing it out now. Or do we have to wonder how the heck did she get there in the first place if she is locked out of heaven? And I think the plot point was that he was going to attack heaven. It might not be heaven, but he, but he tried to enter heaven from. Mm, yep, purgatory or something. Because yeah, if there's heaven and hell, then there's probably also the in-betweens. Let's see. Meet Azrael in the ashes, okay. I'm not hoping he's not waiting at the very end of them, because then we have to go through all of that again. <laughs> Let's see, any last things? Nice. <laughs> Did he just comment on the Armageddon Blade? Oh, wait, we can still upgrade it further? Okay. I think I usually say nice sword. But it's kind of pretty easy that now when we've got a new one. The Viatons Drift? I don't remember that place. Or is this just putting us at the end of it? Where uh, Azriel would be waiting for us. I have to say, it, it does look pretty cool, the Armageddon Blade. Oh yeah! Personally, I think I would still prefer uh, the Chaos Eater, because it fits you know, War's aesthetic more. And yeah, not a bad-looking blade. Even if it's, <laughs> it would be a, a two-hander for everyone else, because you can uh, very obviously see the bit where you know, <laughs> separating the hand grips. Yeah, no, let's be honest. None of us can leave that. Yeah. We need to be unhuman to be in the wheel. Okay, oh, this is right at the end. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there weren't any other times where Volgren had a space right before a boss. And again, this area isn't exactly the same as uh, a dungeon. The, in not, the entire area sort of counts like a dungeon. Wouldn't want to keep Abaddon waiting. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Yeah, he can't wait to stab us in the back. But uh, I don't think he'll stand much of a chance if we have a blade literally named Armageddon. him. It is as you foretold. The Hell God will fall. Angel of Death, serve me one last time. took me for someone else. She loved him, and I believe that he loved her long ago before all this. Foolishly, he chose duty above all and died for it. Will you do the same? Heaven hunts you. Hell hates you. All of 
creation cares not whether you live or die. Join me, war. Like a great sword, I will raise you up, and our enemies will shatter against us. The spoils of a thousand victories will be yours. Or serve the justice of a corrupt council, and a creator who abandons his most faithful. I offer you this choice, horseman. Would you serve in heaven? Or rule in hell. I choose what once a coward did not. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, looks like we might be ending this today. And are you feeling like, um, you took up the heat on Callum? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I'm just going to keep charging around like that. Or do we need to counter that? Yeah, some of Avedon still remains in there. Oh, wait. I think I did. No. <laughs> did he get the number of the dragon? Here we go. I didn't notice that rune was available. Oh. Dragon on the side. Always. Stop. Get out and away. I said away. There we go. No, that didn't do anything. Okay, gotta say, oh, where do you go? Oh, there he went. Woo! Uh, the head come up there. There's no way to get the to move on stuff, but he's already done nothing damage against us. Yep. Uh, we got at least this first phase figure out. How did that miss? A repose miss. Same. Oh! Yeah, you guys, if you fight to get full health. Yeah, I like that. Uh, uh, come on, Doc. I definitely hit you there. I like how the his his eye is still scarred even in this form. Am I only the one taking damage here? There we go. Well, we have the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, blow it up. <laughs> Don't get all below. Okay, the, the arm with which he's going to swipe does light up before he attacks. Get back here, you smart wannabe, and okay. Well, at least we'll get full health, <laughs> and we know what to do now, instead of just getting run over by a freaking dragon truck. <laughs> hmm. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Uh, wait, where is? What's this for? Is, is this leading us back to Eden, even though it was supposedly lost forever? Okay, we don't have a health chest nearby, though. Or maybe there is one that, where we fought uh, the mother worm. I've forgotten her name. Wait! 
there was a hill shift at the uh, path post area. Very early on when you kill all those skeletons. Then you left alone. Yeah, wasn't this lost forever? Hmm. Okay, I get it. They just left it open in case you forgot the chests here, but there is nothing of use here. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, at the start of that uh, path area, there was a chest area called. Yeah, I don't think we'll want to go back that far for health. Because in, this, in the time that we were there and back, we probably could have challenged uh, Abaddon twice already. So, wait. So, Do you get help from killing zombies? Uh, yeah, a bit. Hmm. Think the same what I'm thinking? Yeah, grinding for health, but again, that would be taking up space. That would be grinding, so let's give it a... At least we know what to do now, so we can start without getting uh, our asses yeah, kicked. Look at your health. Let's see, how do we skip? It's Abaddon. There we go. Okay, immediately ruin... You're only a half health. No, a, a half health. Right, actually... That still hits. Actually... Like every time I try to open the map, I open up the menu, and every time I open up the me want to open the menu, I open the map. <laughs> there. Maybe. No, those are bouncing off. Okay. Run. Yeah, if you look again, get over the wall and die. There we go. Don't you have health with you? I don't think we have any of the health uh, consumables at the moment. Alright, so all the you this one. Yeah. yeah. That's an entire bar gun. Yeah, now you can see what a why a on the community is playing the hell. Yeah, this means we have to try and avoid damage as much as possible. Okay. It looks like if we charge him, then we close the distance enough. That we can attack before he can strike. Oh, and he's taken airborne. Which means we have to charge around to not get stomped on. No. There we go. Oh, that was Ruins Fire from what I thought he brought up on ours. Oh, come on. I might be missing the timing with the slashes or something. Oh, he's airborne. Nope. Okay, did not think it would actually lock on. Yep. Okay. Yep. Come 
on some of your horse horsemen. <laughs> oh. Okay, we only barely not got full the full brunt of that. Oh, another one. Ah, missed. Okay, <laughs> I don't remember this at freaking all. Yeah, who do I remember him having a head full of sword? Oh, oh, come on. He beat us straight out of the front chaos form. And we got a, we got full health from that. Okay, attacking the ends now. We have to counter you. Yeah. Hmm. You pathetic log. Nothing. You have forced my hand. Okay, how do I Oops. Nope, not that. Okay, there was Shimon unlocks Braver of Bloods? What? The council has sent you. So where the heck did you get the freaking katana of them? The pillars. Oh, uh, hello. Wait, I think this is one of the people. Oh, I guess. I guess they changed things to put the the boss uh, and what are they in 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 compared to the other ones. How do I get into a blade class with you? Oh oh we got okay. So yeah. okay. Dock his charge and then attack it. Or there? No, that was blocked. Straight on, uh, locked on there. Nope. Yeah, I missed the opportunity. Not this time. Wait, where do you? Uh, there do you go? Really have time to time our attacks there. Now, I don't know at all if this was in the original version or if this was added in this, but <laughs> it's it's awesome all the same. I think it was added. Well, I think I recall me on the same is that we found the end of the last part of the war.
You have taught me something, Abaddon. Sometimes duty must be cast aside to do what must be done. It is not for duty that I kill you now. What you have sown, betrayer. because of your precious honor. They let you take the fall. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name. And you did. No! Oh, patience, whore. I've got some for you, too. I'll take that. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. Like not going back in your little cage. It's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. <laughs> That's so damn funny. Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. I'm laughing at yours. Next sacramentum. The death oath is complete. God, bitch, what did you do? No, no, no! I'm going to pull your guts out through your hell! <laughs> Keep getting up. I'll just kill you again. Following orders, like you! What are you going to do? Fight the council? Fight everyone? You'll never get away! You hear me? Never! Don't forget who holds the leash. Forgotten. You knew. You knew what would happen here. What I would do. That's why you spared me. No. Then why? Because I would not have the last of Heaven's honor die with its champion. All debts are repaid. The duty I uphold, it may call me to raise my sword against you. And if that day comes, I won't hesitate. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. And I, there we go. I think I know what they did here now. See, if my memory serves is right, I think they replaced Shade Guy's boss fight with Abaddon extended boss fight. Well, I'd have to look that up. Uh, let's see, phone yeah, here. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's see. I don't recall if we fought the Watcher at the end. No, my. Uh, <clears throat> of the original. You know, that is what the in internet is for, to look stuff up. Uh, da -da -da. Dark Siders. Uh, yeah. 
the four horsemen of the apocalypse versus heaven versus hell versus anyone else who is dumb enough to step up. Uh, that it, that we won't see that in the sequel though, and it's Troy Baker as Abaddon Stragger Torture Dates. Moon Moon Bloodgood, that's that's a name. <laughs> okay. I've seen that name many times in several series. You know he was part of this one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Probably going to be on the awesome area or something. It's the Moon Bloodgood or oh. We have to look up. I think I don't know. I'll be recognized if I see him. But I can see. I can see why he voiced War. Or wait, who was he voicing again? Was it War? Uh, war was. Uh... Oh, wait, it was O'Brien for War. Yeah. Who, who was Moon Blood Good? Uh, Uriel. That's. Oh, so it's a woman? Yeah. I've, I think it said Uriel next to that name. Let's see. Let's double check for... Maybe I'm mixing big people up here. Okay. Characters. This typically says who is voiced by whom. Uh, Uriel. Voiced by Moon Bloodgood. <laughs> Oh, but a different voice actor in the sequel. Okay, I think, Tom, I must have mistaken another actor who would be good. I thought it was the guy. Hmm. I can't really say I've heard of uh, men being named uh, Moon. Hmm. But I wouldn't be surprised. Well, have you heard, ever heard someone named Moon Blood Good? No, well... <laughs> It sounds more like a, a f the moon is typically uh, more uh, connected to female than what would be the word. It, I think planet a lot of things are typically considered more feminine than male, and like ships and such. And uh, I think planets are typically also named uh, or referred to in more feminine matters. Okay, I may not just talk to me that way. Like Mother Earth and such as well. Okay, yeah. Then it's on me. Then it's on me for not thinking that through. But again, I'm just moon blood good. It, it sounds very gender neutral. Let's see. Oh, now I think I know why, but there was a guy. One of the shows Moon Bloodgood was in the... I, I think I, I must have mistaken that when they showed off the characters' faces, that they showed off the name for the actor. That may not be that, not been that case. So I might be intrigued by a movie intro. Uh, let's see... Does it say anything? It may be better if I find in page. Uh, let's see, watcher out there. Uh, <laughs> watcher's literally called an exposition fairy here. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if they ever explain what Watcher is. Yeah, some sort of demon, I'm presuming. It's strong enough to bat away uh, a, a wounded Uriel at the very least, as well. What's and the I'm, I'm seeing nothing here of a boss fight with... Uh, yeah, I'm not, not seeing anything of a boss fight with the Watcher. So maybe we've both forgotten the second half of the Abaddon fight, or maybe that wasn't there in the first place. Uh, I don't think the Abaddon fight was there in the first place. Mm. But the, the Dragon Ball was there, yes. Yeah. Though, 
this fallen angel form, however, a uh, death is completely new. Let's see. Updated re-release, War Master Edition gives the game a visual overhaul with higher resolution texture. Da -da -da -da. Uh, also includes the Harvester site exclusive to pre-orders. Or previously... Hmm. And... Okay, nothing else there. Hmm. Maybe if I check on the characters with Abaddon, if it'll say anything. In the meantime, there are no extras to look at, it seems. Okay, and again, that was easy mode with this game. Like, the, the game even added... Okay, well, I think I have to overlay uh, disabled or something, because it's not coming up. Or oh, wait, that's the wrong button combo I was using there. Let's see. Achievements, the final challenger, defeat the destroyer. And the other one was... Da -da -da -da. Where is it? It doesn't show these... Yeah, you call that easy is literally the name of the achievement, because it was not easy. <laughs> but, oh, well... The, it, the easiest version in this game, but not e really easy compared to other games. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I get the feeling that Abaddon fight might have been there after all, and that we both forgot it, though. Yeah, though, it, 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 it looks like one of those fights that you will not forget. <laughs> yeah. But, but also the dragon, remember, oh, right, you turned into a dragon. But the other part there was a... Why would you... Especially with the katana! Let's see... Da -da -da. Okay, yeah, this looks like that was there after all. Hmm. What? Yeah, it could just be that we both forgot because of time, because the original version of this did come out like over a decade ago. Yeah, we, we played this on PlayStation 3. And let me close off the overlay. And yeah, there are no extras to show off. So that has been Darksiders. <laughs> yep, and we have 20 minutes to spare. Uh, yeah, they, we, we'll both just have 30 more minutes on, in our night then. <laughs> Yeah. And I might as well reveal what the other series is going to be that we will be playing on Thursday now. Dishonored. So, yeah. Thursday, we're starting with Dishonored 1. And after we're done with that, we'll be moving to Darksiders 2. After that, Dishonored 2. Then Darksiders 3. There isn't really a <laughs> Dishonored 3. There's an expansion of sorts that's a standalone campaign is uh, but i'm not sure that would really fit for the streaming in between because it's pretty short from what i remember but mm. i'll just have to look around I, there was the heck there are some things of the series that i am unaware of because i've only played the original i've seen a playthrough of the dlc campaign or standalone campaign I forget the character you play in with that, but you fight a bunch of witches, or a, a witch's coven with that. But that was, again, pretty short. I watched Ridian play that. And... Oh. Hmm, I've heard... I'll, I'll just have to double check, but otherwise... If there is... Hmm... Because we have Darksiders 1, we have Darksiders 2, we have Darksiders 3. And then we have Dark Souls Genesis. I'm unsure about make, streaming that game, because that's more of an isometric shooter from what I've seen of it. Still, it should involve the fourth horseman, so at the very least, we should take a look at it. At yeah, for, if we still have a little story, it could be fun to play, and it has multiplayer. Yeah, I remember right. Yeah, it should have at least co-op. And yeah, we we could play it together then. 
yeah, uh, I really interested just to talk about the price and of course how big it is. Yeah, because down your in current internet there is kind of sucky. Yeah, we all to talk with all that part. Hopefully it's upgraded before we get to that game. But then also, they were, were, I, I pray it's not a gigabyte eater. With that, I mean, it should not be something like Ark. Yeah, which is like freaking 100 gigabytes fat. Yeah. But at, at that and, point, you can't call it 100 gigabytes big, you can call it 100 gigabytes fat. Yeah, but, they seriously need to fix that in the next game. Yeah. But, yeah, anyways, Dark Dishonored, Dark Siders 2, Dishonored 2, Dark Siders 3. And, yeah, if there is nothing else of Dishonored, maybe we can put in Forks Must Die 3, finally. Because I think that is finally to a stable enough point, though we still have to test it out if it will stay stable. Yeah, we can try some weekend or something, just, uh, just to, uh, for ourselves to practice with it a little bit and make sure it works. Yeah. Uh, that'll be off stream. For now, though, it's time we end this stream. So thank you, everyone, who for watching now or later. And thank you especially, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, Thursday, Dishonored. Until then, until then. Until then, until then. <laughs> <laughs>